What is happening? I'm at 64 Josh, and this is another game vlog. And today's game, because it's Wednesday, we do we do NES games on Wednesday. DuckTales. Oh, woo -woo. I do this live. Twitch.tv slash N64 Josh. And you can come hang out if you want. This is like our little this is our pre-stream ritual now. If if you're enjoying this, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate that. Leave a comment below. That helps more people see the video, you know? So thank you. Thank you in advance if you do that. But let's talk about DuckTales. So this game just recently got back into my collection. So I think, I think my my NES and my games are sitting in a in a rundown shed probably having things growing over them like at one day i'm going to uh i'm going to go dig it out maybe we'll make a vlog of that i'll take my camera we'll go on the hunt for my nes and there's a chance we could find it that might be kind of fun actually there's a chance we could find it i don't know it had to survive plenty a, a handful of moves so we don't know we don't know it also had to survive a a basement that got flooded so and chat right now is talking about the Disney collection, afternoon collection, not being on Switch. It's a travesty, I say. Travesty. So, DuckTales. As a kid, uh, this is one of this is probably one of, if not the first game. Uh, let, me, let me let me stop right there. That wasn't let me let me just stop right there. Probably the first game that wasn't Super Mario Brothers that I would uh although, you know, I would I would play through Super Mario Brothers and then I would go do something else. Or I would try to do all the levels and then I would go do something else. This game, I would beat every level, complete the game, and start right back over and just do it again. I loved this game so, so much. It It is such a stellar title. I loved the cartoon as a kid. Uh, was it Huey, Dewey, and Louie? Right? They're the little... You guys can see them there. They're, they're flying with a launch pad. I don't even know if it'll focus. It might not. But they're in that helicopter there. And... I don't know if you guys remember this from the cartoon, but anytime it showed them sleeping, they would go like this. <laughs> they would quack like ducks all the time. Actually, I think it was even better than that. I think one of them would go, the next one would go, and the next one would go, and that's how they slept. I'm not sure, you know, how, like, how they pulled this off, how they would sleep, how one of them would only exhale, one of them would only inhale, and the other one would only quack, but they managed to do it. So who knows, maybe we can find a clip. I'll see if I can find a clip on YouTube. I'll, I'll throw it in the Discord. But I loved, I loved this cartoon. I, 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 I would watch it, you know, with, uh, alongside like Transformers, that kind of stuff. And uh, the second quest is saying the original cartoon was great. The new cartoon is surprisingly awesome as well. Interesting. I didn't even know there was a new one. Um, some great connection to all the Disney afternoon shows and Disney lore. Yeah. I mean, you had like Gizmo Duck. It was so cool. You know, then later on, you had characters like Darkwing Duck. and He had his own show, you know, Let's Get Dangerous, right? He even had an NES game. I don't think it's in my collection yet, though. I have a handful of these Disney Capcom titles. This is by far my favorite. I don't have the sequel to this. That's a pricey one. Um, I remember seeing it for the very first time. Didn't even know it existed. And it had like a $200 price tag on it. And I was like, what? So one day, one day. But a lot of these Disney Capcom games are... Uh, are very pricey. They're, they're the sequels, anyway. The sequels are very pricey. So, but this one, like I said, this is a game that I could, I could play uh, from start to finish, and then fire it right back up again. And I just, I loved all the mechanics. I loved the uh, Scrooge McDuck's cane acted like a pogo stick. Right, and you could also uh, use it like a golf club and kind of uh, smack different items across the screen. Like I actually fired this up uh, a few weeks ago. We hooked up an NES uh, to the TV downstairs and uh, played this and a handful of other games. And I could still, I could still get into this. Like it was still a lot of fun. I could, I, who knows? Maybe we'll actually stream it on Twitch one of these days because it, it is a game that I just, I really, really loved. And for some reason, I can remember the excitement of completing this game for the very first time. Like, 
you could kind of choose where you wanted to go. It was like the moon or the jungle and places like that. I don't remember the exact locations, but, um, but I remember I always kind of struggled with like a, it was like a Transylvania kind of area. And that was the one I kind of, uh, I would have a hard time with it. I remember the first time I completed it, you know, and I was like, I, I think my, my dad might've been in the living room. I don't know. I just remember being really excited and nobody else was really excited with me. <laughs> That's all I remember. They were probably just like, we want to watch Jeopardy or whatever, you know, I don't know. But, but I, I got, I got so excited. And I just, I, for me, it was one of these, it was one of the games back then. It was like, I'm playing the cartoon I watch all the time. And that was something that was, that was so cool. I mean, you had that with like Ninja Turtles and stuff, but like Ninja Turtles didn't quite, at least the first one that we, you know, we talked about a few weeks ago, it didn't quite have the same charm as this game. And it didn't really feel like you were playing the cartoon, you know, that's what this game pulled off so well. And I mean, and you're talking about Capcom, right? The NES days, Capcom was was putting out some of the best games uh, on the system with Mega Man. It was, you know, they, they were killing it. And this is one of those games that, again, you guys are going to laugh at me. I know you mock, they mock me in chat when I say this. I, I owned this as a kid. Don't know how or when I got it. <laughs> I'm just I'm beginning to wonder if I just didn't pay attention to to, to much when I was a child <laughs> Like oh cool. You got me a game. Thanks. Great. I'll play that one a lot. Cool. Thanks <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where where I ended up with it, but I loved it loved it played it uh, Played it a ton probably one of my most uh, Played games right up there with uh, with Mario and Super Mario Brothers 2 Really 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 enjoyed this title. So um, if you played this game you got any fond memories, you know, completing certain levels, anything like that? Let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.